Hey guys, this is George from DynamicDrive.com and in this quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a responsive YouTube video gallery to your WordPress site. The gallery we'll be adding is shown over here and as you can see, there are thumbnails of the videos that you wish the user to be able to play and um, whenever the user clicks on one of the thumbnails, it should automatically play the video. Also, you can set this uh, gallery to automatically play a particular video when the page loads. For example, I'm going to reload the page here. And as you can see, the first video in this case begins to play automatically. You can also set the gallery to cycle through the videos one by one. So after the first video is done playing, it will automatically go on to the second video and play the second video, then the third, and so on and so forth. The YouTube gallery is also fully responsive, and by that I mean as you resize the page or if the layout changes, the width of the gallery will conform to the new layout. So as you can see, no matter how I resize this page, the gallery changes along with it to maintain that perfect 16.9 aspect ratio. Also you may see that stroke bars will appear if there are more thumbnails than can fit on the current screen. So with this uh, quick introduction of YouTube Video Gallery out of the way, let's see how to add it to your WordPress site, specifically to a particular post or a particular page on WordPress. And we're going to see how to do it. The thing we want to do is go to the YouTube Video Gallery script page, which is uh, the URL right here. I'll include a link to this page down in the comment section below. And we want to start reading the instructions here on how to add the script to a page. So as you can see here, it says step one, add the following code to the head section of your page. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in WordPress. So the first thing I'm going to do is hop on over to my WordPress dashboard. And uh, to make it easy to add code to the head section of my WordPress blog, I'm going to download a plugin called header and footer. So I'm going to go into Plugins, Add New. I'm going to search for this plugin called Header and Footer. So as you can see in the description, it says, Header and Footer plugin lets you add HTML code to the header and footer section of your blog. So I'm going to go Install. In a few moments, it should be done. I'm going to Activate Plugin. And then you can see here it's activated. Once that's done, I can access the plugin by going into Settings and Header and Footer. As you can see, there are many tabs here that allow you to fine tune where your code gets added. But let's just focus our attention on the default tab here, which says Ped Page Head and Footer. And focus our attention here, code to be added on the head section of every page. Basically, whatever we enter here, will get shown in between the head tag of every single page on your WordPress blog. So for now, this will do just fine. I'm going to head on back to the instruction for my uh, YouTube video gallery, where it says, insert the following code to the head section of your page. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this code, and then I'm going to paste it here. What happens now is that this code that we just pasted it's going to get added to the head tag section of every one of your pages on your WordPress blog. And I can verify this by going to the home page of my WordPress blog here. I'm going to press reload. And if I view the source, I should see the code I just pasted up here. And voila! Right here is the code that I pasted. Now let's move on to the next step which is, as it says here, to upload these two files to my server. What I'm going to do first is download them. Save link as. I'm going to download it to some random directory here. Oops. Not that. Save link as. And uh, in WordPress, I'm going to upload these two files 
using the media functionality. So I'm going to go media and add new. And locate the two files I had just downloaded to my hard drive. So it should be just right here. Select these two files. Now if I refresh my media library, I will see the two files uploaded here. Okay, so the two external files of the script are now on our server. The next step is we need to modify the code that we just added to the head section of our WordPress blog to reference these two files. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. What I want to do is go back to uh, the plugin, the header and footer plugin. I'm going to open it in a new tab. And as you can see in the code, it's referencing the two external files here and here. Their paths at this point are incomplete, however. What we need to do is actually complete this path to exactly where this file and this file is located on our server. And we can grab the full path by going back to where these two files are uploaded, clicking on them, and grabbing the full URL. So for the .css file, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to copy the path. I'm going to go over here and replace this file name with the complete path that I just pasted. So here it is. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the .js file. I'm going to click on the .js file, copy the full path, and replace the default with the new path. Okay, and now finally we're all done here. I'm going to save. All right, we're all done here with the code in the head section of our page. So let's move on to the next step. So step two, it says insert this code into the body section of the page we wish the video gallery to appear. Now this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Regularly when the instructions say to add some code to the body section of your page, you would do just that. Add whatever it says to add to exactly where you want to appear within the body of your page where you want the, say, gallery to appear. With WordPress, however, it's a little bit more complicated than that. The editor we use to enter content into our WordPress blog it's extremely picky when it comes to what content we can add to it. The content we wish to add in this case contains a script and also some nested divs. If we were to drop this code directly into the WordPress editor, it's not going to turn out right when we actually save it. The code that we want to paste to the body section of our page contains a script, as you can see here. If you were to directly copy and paste this code into the editor, of your WordPress blog post, it will appear all mangled up. Since the editor is meant only for inserting regular text content, but not scripts. So by the editor, I mean, let's say I want to go to a sample post here, here. The editor is this part you see here where you normally enter content. So let's say if I were to simply directly copy and paste this code, and go into one of my blog posts. I'm going to use this one, hello world, edit. And let's say if I wanted to simply paste the code right beneath this content here. You would expect what to do is to go into the text HTML tab and simply paste it here and press update. The issue with this is that once you do that, WordPress is going to mangle up the resulting code. So far it looks good, but if I were to switch to visual and go back to text again, see how all the code is mangled up. And it even removes some of the div tags that were in the original code that I pasted. So in other words, this method of adding arbitrary code to our blog post is not going to work. There is a way around this, however, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Basically, the solution is to put any code we wish to appear inside one of our blog posts into an external JavaScript file. Once that's done, we can then reference that external JavaScript file anywhere inside our blog post to make the outcome appear. 
I'm going to go back to my video gallery script page again. And this is the code that we want to add to the body section of our page. What I'm going to do is copy this code. I'm going to paste it into a blank file. And remember, what we want to do now is to make all of this be contained inside the external JavaScript file. To do this, the first thing we should do is locate any non-script inside the code. And in this case, this is not a script. And we're going to move this into the script tag. So watch. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to get JavaScript to output this markup. And to do that in JavaScript is pretty simple. What I'm going to do is type document.write single quotation. I'm going to, at the end of that line, I'm going to close it off with a quotation again and then parentheses. So now this line will be dynamically generated by JavaScript. I'm going to do this same process for the next three lines, HTML lines here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste. I'm going to paste. I'm going to paste. I'm going to copy the closing tags or closing code as well. I'm going to paste, paste, and paste. And that's it. I'm going to remove the HTML markup now from here. And what we end up with here is one script doing exactly what the original code that we just modified did. Okay, so the last step now is to save this as an external JavaScript file. And that's pretty simple to do. All we gotta do is remove the script tags from the script and also optionally any uh, comments. So I'm gonna remove the script tag and comments. Script tag and the comment. I'm going to save this as an external JavaScript file. I'm going to go save as. And I'm going to save it as video output.js. So there we have it. Now this code, this JavaScript code, is saved as an external JavaScript file. The last step is simply to go back into our WordPress dashboard and upload this external file. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go into media, add new, and select video output to upload. It's been uploaded. And press edit. And I'm going to grab the full URL to this external file. So now for any post that we want the YouTube gallery to appear, let's say here, we can simply reference that external JavaScript file. So I'm going to go back into text HTML view, and I'm going to type script circ equals, and then the URL of the uh, external JavaScript file. I'll close it off. And then I'll just add some arbitrary content beneath that. This all right, and I'm going to update this, uh, this post. Now, if we go back to the visual mode and switch back to the text mode again, you can see the code is intact. You know, WordPress did not mangle it, did not split it up, did not break it apart, which means it worked. So just as a good measure, I'm going to go back to the instructions again and see if there's anything else I need to do. So after the code of step two, it says, that's it for installation. So we're done. Let's verify this by going to our blog post, which initially does not contain the video gallery, and pressing reload. And there you go. It works. I can resize the page, and the gallery will adapt. I can click on one of the thumbnails, and I'll play the thumbnail as well. So now that we've learned how to add a YouTube video gallery to one of your blog posts, the next questions are how do you modify the videos that get shown inside the gallery, modify settings such as whether to autoplay the first video when the page loads and whether to cycle through your videos. And this can all be done inside the code that we just created, the external JavaScript file. We see here options such as selected, autoplay, cycle and playlist. 
So we can modify the values for these options to change various aspects of the gallery. To specify the videos to play inside our YouTube video gallery, the option that we want to edit is the playlist option. And as you can see next to it, the comment, it says, list of YouTube video IDs is the last segment within a shareable YouTube URL. So in other words, what we want to enter is a list of YouTube video IDs. And you can obtain the ID of each video that you want to play by looking at the last segment within its URL. And it usually comes in the same format, which is a bunch of numbers and characters. Once you're done with editing video output.js and re-upload this file onto your server using the media functionality of your WordPress dashboard. So this functionality here. So there you have it. For more details, simply visit the YouTube gallery homepage on Dynamic Drive and read all the instructions below.